We're going to have a weekly review and a connect to writing today and proofreading. So we're going to talk about making comparisons because that's what our first two lessons in video one were about. Um, when we make comparisons with good and bad, right, we have to think, is the comparison comparing two or more than two? And what form of good and bad should you use? Worse or worst? Best or better? Okay, and when you compare with adverbs, you need to ask if the adverb ends in ly and how many things and actions that adverb compares. All right. So we're going to work on page 355 in your reader's notebook, making comparisons. In 1 through 6, you are going to um, correct, circle the correct word in parentheses that completes each sentence. Okay, not super hard, um, but just a great way to review. Dennis smiles wide or wider or widest of all his friends. All right, well, remember, who, how many ideas are we comparing? How many things are we comparing? I'm sorry. We're comparing um, Dennis's smiles to the ones of all of his friends. That's more than three. So we need to add EST widest. Okay. You're going to do two, three, four, five, and six, and then come back to the video when you're done. Now we're going to connect to writing. Okay. Um, when we proofread our writing, okay, we use um, proofreading marks. We can cross out errors and insert corrections by doing this. Here's a sentence with errors. Elena's performance was worser than Ralph's. Well, worser is not a word. Okay, it's worse than Ralph's. That's comparing two. So we see that we, whoever wrote this, used a proofreading mark to cross off worser and it added a caret to insert the word worse so that the sentence reads correctly. You're going to use those proofreading marks to fix the convention errors in the sentences below. So let's look at number one. Of the five books I read on mammals, this was the worse. Well, worse is not the right word, so we need to cross that off. Here, I'll do it with my big chunky thing that I don't do very well with. Cross it off, carrot, and what word do you need instead of worse? You're comparing five things. Right, it needs to be worst. Worst. Hey, that's not so bad. Okay, so of the five books I read on mammals, this was the worst. All right, you're going to do two through five, and have your learning adult check your work.